Now there's this interesting article which is making the rounds and as you can see it's got 63 million views so it's not something fringe, it's something that a lot of people have been aware of. But, but almost everyone that watches it, they think it's cute, uh, they think it's wholesome that a 10 year old is starting a petition for Apple to change uh, the glass emoji uh, because it's offensive for people wearing glasses. And many individuals, you know, they're, they're either laughing at this or they're saying, well, it's an actual glass emoji. Uh, but I am incredibly concerned. I, I guess I have reached the age where hashtag concerning is happening with me. And that is the fact that this is how the new generation is trained to think. They haven't grown like us in the 90s where we actually know and appreciate what freedom is. And we understand how it is like to leave other people alone. Um, and, and I'm saying this because back in my day, the mentality of my parents would be, well, if you don't like the emoji, don't use it. Or if you don't want to see it, then ask your friends not to do it. Like, like that is the normal and healthy way to live in a free society. However, what I see is that a lot of children on Twitter, and, and when I say children, I mean uh, mostly Generation Z, right? So the Zoomers. Uh, they are part of this mentality that if they don't like something, no one should be able to enjoy it. And it's not about the emoji, right? This is just like the example that popped up and why it's probably so famous. Um, but it, it, it has to do with everything. Like, like in the case of Alex Jones, right? Um, you, you have a lot of people that are saying, well, he's dangerous, he's harmful, he shouldn't be allowed to come back. But when you make a poll, when you make a survey, you see that 70% of people want him to come back. And it's only like a fringe vocal minority of 30% of people that want him gone. In other words, it's the vocal minority of 30% that get to decide what your mother should and shouldn't be allowed to watch on the internet. They think that your mother is incapable of deciding for herself. So they're basically asking the big corporations to shut down the people that they don't like so your mother can't have access to them. This is the new culture that is being promoted. And with this in mind, it's a lot easier to understand just how big corporations and governments is going to take advantage of the new generation. As they're creating this, this new culture of safetyism, I'm pretty sure that the people in power will be more than happy to provide them with the safetyism in exchange for most of their rights. So I, I generally don't see this generation doing very well uh, 10 or 20 years down the line. It's going to be very sad, but I don't blame them because this is what they've been trained. Like, they went to school with the concept of safe spaces. Uh, they go online with the concept of trust and safety councils. And, and they genuinely believe that the world should function this way. If you see something that you don't like, you cry to the big corporation, you cry to Apple, you cry to the government in order to prevent other people from exercising their rights. And I think this also creates a little bit of spite, like when you have your rights taken away by others, uh, when the wheel turns, you're going to want to take away their rights as well. And, and you know, if, if you think that I'm not giving concrete examples, like anyone who spends a little bit of time on Twitter will realize that there is this mentality where, where someone will say, Oh my god, I really love this anime, or I really love this video game, but the fan service is atrocious. The, the fact that I get to see beautiful women in it, it is absolutely disgusting. Have you, have you seen that on Twitter? Because I have seen Japanese artists constantly harassed on a daily basis for drawing uh, pictures of female characters. In fact, it's not only that. Um, the Coffin of Andy and Lele is a, is a famous game, which is made by a woman. She, she was the one that developed it, one that wrote the story. Uh, and she got harassed off the internet because the art style in that game is catering to the male gaze. Now, what I personally noticed is that when you look at the people doing most of the harassment, almost all of them, like I would say it's, it's around 70% of them, happen to be Zoomers. So they're under the age of 18. They shouldn't even be in those artists' timeline. But, but when you look at their account, they, they have like an entire timeline dedicated to human sexuality. So, so there's like an overlap between uh, transgender ideology, pronouns, um, pro-LGBT messages. And they go out of their way in order to go after artists that just draw fan service for attractive female characters. 
And you have to wonder, like, why is that a thing, right? Well, the first one to, to remember is that their generation is trained that if they don't like it, no one should be able to access it, right? So by them trying to chase off the artists, and, and again, like, these artists aren't even drawing hentai. Like, like we're talking about you know, a girl in a bathing suit or um, a superhero that has a revealing costume. Like, like, those are the ones that are getting harassed. And you're wondering, like, okay, well, they're doing it because they don't like it, so no one else should. And the second question is, like, why they don't like it? And the answer is due to third-wave feminism, which teaches that the male gaze is absolutely horrible, even when in fiction. And uh, the people who like the male gaze are horrible as well. So, so they view it like, the, uh, in a way, as a religious person views uh, exor- uh, uprooting sin from society. Like, like they're going on Twitter and they're doing their best in order to harass these artists so that Twitter becomes a more better place, right? A more inclusive place, as they call it. And again, like, when you look at it, it's not an individual that I have the beef with. It's, it's the culture that's coming from behind. Like, a culture that is so puritanical in nature that I would consider them to be even more puritanical than the people during the Bush era. Um, if, if you're waiting for the 90s to come back, I, I do not place a lot of faith on the new generation. I mean, Jesus. The, the way of thinking that they are having is so bizarre, foreign, and alien to me. Because, again, like they grew up in the culture of safetyism. I mean, they, they experienced the pandemic uh, in, a, in a lot of uh, more traumatizing way than, than the rest of us. I mean, imagine growing up with the idea that you need to stay at home, stay safe, if only we can save one life, like all of that, and that the government is there to protect you, and that uh, you need to trust the official sources only because like, we normal humans can never be as enlightened as the official people. Like, it, it's, going, it's going to be very difficult to change that mindset, is what I'm saying. So, you know, going back to this picture of, of the kid with um, the glass emoji. Like, like, what exactly does he learn? Well, he learns that you can get your minute of fame, you can get your spotlight if you complain. Like, you, you can make it in the news, you can get 63.2 million views if you find something to complain. So the incentive is, like, find more things to complain. Right? Like, make, make more... Pictures of the internet where, where you're complaining about trivial stuff, like w- when there is no problem, just try to make it the problem. Uh, and if you do it good enough, then you're going to get your face plastered on the newspapers and you're going to get around 63.2 million views of people watching you. Like, this is the moral lesson that we are teaching kids nowadays. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm glad, I guess, that I was born when I was, because uh, the new generation... I think they're going to get oppressed by the big government, by by the big corporations, and uh, they're going to use their own arguments in order to take away more rights from them. But hopefully I'm wrong. You know, hopefully I'm I'm just um, looking at things the wrong way, and it's not going to end up like this. Let me know what you guys think, though, and as usually, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.